chewing with Chimmy. So I'm now live streaming in the two my channels. One is my chewing machine. I mean, I mean like a, my chewing channel, and one is my public channel. I mean like private one. Okay, so uh, let's start with the straight away with the chewing machine, and then I will show you what kind of overlock and kind of searcher book I have. Then here is some also like I have a. Uh, how to say cover skits machine? So let's start it with them. But let's say hi to everyone. Maybe most of you are from around the world, but my shoeing channel has a people from India. Hello, India and Philippines, Singapore, and Malaysia. I'm so happy that uh, people around the world watch my shoeing channel and. Uh, I should say also hey to Indonesia. Halo teman-teman yang ada di Indonesia. Kali ini aku mau unboxing semua uh, mesin jahitku. Uh, jadi ini ada memang ada lima mesin jahit. Ini bukan mesin jahit baru, tapi ini mesin jahit yang lama. Tapi karena kita pindah ke Finland, jadi ini kemarin ada di storage, uh, ada di gudang dan juga dapat dari Vietnam. Jadi mesin-mesin jahit yang dari Vietnam. Oke, okay, kita langsung aja mulai dari mesin jahit yang pertama. Oke, okay, guys, let's start with my first sewing machine. Uh, I mean, like portable sewing machine, or we can call it domestic sewing machine. So this is a uh, my first domestic sewing machine. It's uh, kind of a uh, my. Uh, it was like a how to say it was wedding anniversary presents from my husband so this is my very first singer tradition 2259 and the price is about quite cheap it's less than one i guess it's about 100 euro so maybe around 120 dollar nowadays so let's open it i'm so excited okay let's get the box down so this is a little bit dusty as it has been long in my how to say in my storage so this is my tradition uh single tradition 2259 it's really recommend because the price is cheap if you're just starting your shoeing hobby so you don't feel guilty if you just buy something cheap but this is all all of them are um, how to say um, it's enough if you just started your shoeing your shoeing uh hobby so the price also quite cheap and we got them I don't know here this is usually I use I use the one only because they have the same head like this so I always try to use it one then I just change the to here so I just put it one on to my electricity plug and I just like to change it the machine so all of singer has the same one so if you thinking about buying the shoeing machine and overlocking then I recommend to buy the same brand. Just this is my first. And what I like is that it has still classic one. So when you open here, you can just oh what I don't really remember that this the bobbin house is just like this. So I really like this because it's more how to say classic and yeah, it's stronger because it makes from metal. Oh, it's really difficult to take it. Maybe because it's. Mm. Ta da! So I will put it back. And when I keep it, uh, my shoeing machine usually I just put this kind of uh, fabrics to avoid the scratch. Then. Okay, let's move to the next. Oh, wait. So I'm going to open my second portable swing machine. It's a brother. Then yes, here we are. So this brother AS 130S. I'm making nowadays. I'm making the tutorial how to use it and how to 
setting up the uh, how to say how to spreading but the problem is i haven't finished all of them so i'm so sorry so this is what i got you as this is what i got from vietnam and the price it was about 100 dollars or even a little bit more so the price are nearly similar but i will tell you which one better in my opinion as long as it. and here is i found another fabric because it was warm from my post so I was just oh, I need to stand and here so we can find these things okay this is my second sewing machine okay this is my second portable sewing machine this is brother as 1430s and this is also the same nearly similar process as my singer sewing machine the, but um yeah uh i guess like this is quite reasonable and on that time this is the one we can find easily in vietnam so i'm so sorry that my eyes are going here and there and there because i have here two cameras going to my uh chewing channel and as well as my private youtube channel and also my camera to recording if the quality of this live streaming going bad then i will upload the the how to say the real one from my camera so this is the the brother one and has this we will see how this, this is from the brother this is from my son so they have quite a different uh plug how to say the electricity plug so that's why i recommend you to have the similar one so if one is broken so you can still use it from the I mean like from the different machines so just in case but you can just buy easily from the shop anyway so what i like from this machine is not really heavy so it's, it's easy you travel wherever you go and also it's i like pink my daughter likes pink before but not anymore then it's like so girly and the price is also reasonable if you just learn and this things are enough i mean if you just starting your shoeing hobbies then you don't really need to have everything like so many different it's that's useless what you need to learn when you just start sewing is just like to make a straight line and that's all if you can make it really straight then that's all and this is now what i'm going to compare because I found that my two machine has different performance between my brother's sewing machine and my singer's sewing machine. So, if you have around this budget, I recommend you to buy singer. This is my opinion after use both of them. Why? The steps are different. This singer, it has smoother stiff than this brother i feel like this is my opinion really like i feel that this is stronger in stitch and more smooth it's like more high high quality stitch than this and about this kind of stitch type it doesn't really matter and this actually this kind of opinion because this has we call it top load bobbin then you can have here i mean like top load is is here but this one you need to open from here then you can see that you always need oh sorry i don't even remember how to you just always need this the house one and this is also quite a risk if you have this kind of thing sometimes you need always to make sure that this this one uh tight enough or loose enough to keep it balanced with the, with the upper thread so of course it's your own choice but for me like 
this one is more simple and this one is quite um, challenging also sometimes because if the this screw is not really balanced with the upper thread it could not make uh, the stitch different but yeah for me i still recommend this singer than this brother but everything has a choice and it's depend also what, what where where is you where do you come from because in some country you cannot find easier this because when i was in vietnam i was thinking to get my new singer machine but at the end i end up with this because they don't have many choices and mostly they have many different kind of uh, brothers sewing machine but i i recommend to get this <gasps> okay i need to fix my other connection okay now okay so what i recommend if you planning to buy your first sewing machine is just like buy something what you don't uh, i mean like what is in your budget you don't need to buy something which is really too many states because some people just like combining like comparing one to another just because of they have more stitches types and whatsoever but that's not really important what you really need is only that how to use the zippers so usually they have that kind of zipper zipper presser food to to play uh, i mean like to use for to install the how to say invisible zipper that's what important and then the second one when the shoeing machine with the buttonhole stitch like this where is it this one and here also that buttonhole stitch like this so yeah that's that's all you don't really need something like luxury or something like so you will not feel guilty when you buy it too expensive and then at the end you don't really want to spend a uh, time doing this shoeing hobby because what i know from my students which is learning how to shoe they don't really they don't really continuing their shoeing hobby just because of yeah their own reason but yes that's all okay let's see next uh move to the next this is the two shoeing machine what i really love and maybe i will use this one a lot than this but I'm still going to use it at my collection. Next. Mm. Okay, next is my overlock machine. Let's open this first. What is inside? What is inside? What is inside? I guess I need something to open. Okay, that's easy. That's easy. That's easy. Okay, now I have a fabric. No, this is from my Vietnam. So it's this machine is from Vietnam. The price is about two hundred fifty to three hundred euros. So it's a it was about six million. <coughs> sorry, six million seven hundred. Then I got this overlock machine the one and only portable which is available online in that shop so i just bought this because i have no choice Ew. maybe i can put my shoe machine on here Open it, let's open it, let's open it. They have so much fabrics because I put them all over here. Yay! Yay! So actually all of them are kind of with this kind of, uh, how to say, CD. And same, they have these. Same as the my other sewing machine. Tada, same. Nothing different. So, tada. 
Why do you need the overlock? Because uh, maybe in Indonesia you can find easily a service where you can do the overlocking or do the searcher or in your country maybe they have that kind of overlocking service. But if you live in Finland, you cannot have that service. So you need to have your own machine to do everything. All of them has to be your own. If you go to service, the price is so expensive. Even just a couple of times, you just go to that service, then it's gonna cover all of your costs. So it's better you buy. It's kind of good investment. So it's just as usual. It has four four thread, and this used for overlocking and it can be used for making the jersey or sewing the jersey when when you use for threads you can use it for jersey but when you use it only three thread you can just use it for how to say for the overlock locking then this machine i will say after i open my singer one then i can i can this i can show you what i like and what i don't from this but this is just normal and they have that kind of threading guide so it's easy when that is here blue green purple and yellow and that is also like blue and green because this two is going down and this two is as upper thread but when you just take one off as because we are going to, to do the overlocking not showing jersey then you just need three then you don't need to follow the blue line so yeah just like and this one the good thing of this is this has um kind of covering the cutting so you can you can do without cut the seam allowance so because mostly when we do the cutting seam allowance is make it more neat but in some project maybe you don't really need or it's 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 not necessary to cut or you don't want to cut it so you can just cover it with this and it has different kind of how to say the width and the, how to say width and cutting and levy or something like that okay and this one is just how uh, how many stitches per inch and this one is how uh how how to say loose and tight the between the stitch okay so what next <clears throat> Ouch, heavy. Okay, next is my beautiful singer. <gasps> oh. Okay, let's open it. Okay, let's open it. Okay, I should put them <laughs> Four. say I got them. They have the same one as my other singer. Oh how I miss you. with the other one but I did really love this because it has fish and this is the same has four threads and they have also similar like a um, threading guide 
And also they have a threading guide here. And as usual, when I keep my when I keep my machine, I always put this. So whenever whenever you finish your shooting project and you're going to sleep or do something, just put the fabrics under the pressure hood so it make it um, how to say it keep healthy your shoeing machine and whatever then yeah it's it's just keep it not scratching when it's moving or something like that but yeah i just recommend it and yeah all of them are nearly same but this pattern of uh setting are here while the other one is in the right side so what i have here is the if i remember they don't have really much it's only the the um, the distance between stitch and also the strength of uh, the strength and the loose of the stitch that it doesn't have the feature what my uh, brother shoe machine has it okay just let's compare hello come back so this is what how you do it looks so my singer is so this singer overlock is 14 s h 770 while this is my my brother 1334g so which one i recommend this one exactly this one even though it doesn't have that kind of cover the the how to say the knife or even though it has always got the seam allowance but i really recommend this because the stitch are neat and it has kind of a how to say um the quality of the stitch are better than here and the price are nearly same both of them this one i bought only 200 euro it was in discount but this one is around 250 and this is the one and only even though i have so many choices of this but yeah this is the cheapest i can get i mean on my budget so yeah you can choose but i recommend you to get the singer and whatever whatever i like from this machine that it can always make a jrc because in Finland we always have winter and mostly what the clothes i made from the for the kids are making from something like soft and kind of jersey fabrics which is like always for winter clothes while yeah and this have for threads which is we can always use it to shoot the jersey okay what's next okay so uh, i i forgot that um they have a quite similar performance only in the stitch quality but yeah you you can have a choice which one you choose so but for me i still this one is winning okay let's okay the last one this is maybe not really common or not new beginners know about this machine and it's not really necessary as when you when you get the overlocking it's really important to have it if you stay in the country like me which is they don't have a cover stitch service outside while in vietnam actually they have a cover stitch outside and in indonesia also that kind of we call it obras but yeah i buy it because i really need it and i cannot live without this because it's gonna fraying if you don't do the overlocking but let's next one <laughs> this is quite huge
know, these are the uh, NG memo and whatever it is. Next, please. <laughs> Okay, here we are, my beautiful cover lock stitch, uh, cover stitch machine. So I got this series, it's Singer. Singer, where is the type? So this is the Singer 14T970C. I got it from Sweden. I ordered it online from CB. I ordered it online from Sweden and this is clearly wrong book because I didn't know what is the first what I should buy because I'm thinking to buy the overlock then what happened is what well, coming is the cover stitch machine because it was in Swedish when I order then I don't really understand what it means I was thinking like it looks like the overlock machine but it's cover stitch machine that's why the price is expensive and i was that kind of person like okay the more expensive thing is better the price is about 500 euro then yeah it was 500 euro and yeah it was a bit disappointing because i don't know what i can do with this machine what i can do and then i'm froze that okay this cover stitch machine is can be used for the usually people use this for the uh, you can use it for decoration or for the how to say like hem finish for the jersey fabric so mostly it makes a kind of fabric like to make hem finish like this way or if you can find in the hem of the um, t-shirt here usually you can use that I will try to find my t-shirt this is not a good assemble Okay, so I'm back. So usually this cover stitch machine used for this for this t-shirt for the hemming here. So this machine used for this kind of thing. So it's not cutting, so it doesn't have a plate to plate a uh, knife to cut it, then it can make this kind of thing. But the bad thing is like I really difficult because it's like it has to be in this side when you show it then you need to make sure that it's exactly in the line here so you need to put kind of exact measurement then you can um how to say you can make it neat so here i have a this one it's nearly same as the, the as the uh salmori. what was the salmori? yeah 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 salmori. what is salmori? Overlock me. Uh, I have a four thread here. The, I mean, like the stand for four threads. And it's nearly the same one. It has a threading guide here. They put the color. And here, they have a threading guide in the, in the cover of it. So you can see the color on the cover. Here, somewhere. Here. So you can just follow me how to thread it. And it's nearly same. So, and it has three needles because usually you can put up two needles at up, up, and then and then one for the down. So it has three needles, and you need to use a kind of a good quality needle to make it sharp and to make it knit in the shoeing. So actually, at the end, I'm not really regret to order this, but it's quite expensive for five hundred euro, and just you can. Just using it as well, of course, if just in case, like if you just have home as a hobby or something, you can just use the basic shoeing machine to do this, to do this, uh, hemming the 
jersey the, the quality of course are different and this one is suitable for the jersey fabric so you can use this cover stitch machine for a uh, stretch fabric like this and actually you can make decoration as well from this and uh i mean like that kind of crafting project and yeah this is quite cool like sorry <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not really recommend to buy this if you just have a hobby because it's quite expensive and you don't really need it that much and if you if you're starting to have that kind of project with uh, jersey mostly or something like stress then it's recommend to have this okay so maybe I need to, to repeat on Indonesian so I have a uh, mostly my viewers in Indonesian so yeah I, I should start it again. Ta -da, ta -da. Nah, oke okay, teman-teman, sekarang aku mau ngejelasinnya dalam bahasa Indonesia. Jadi, aku punya dua mesin jahit. Yang pertama ini namanya sinar. Dan tadi udah unboxing yang brother. Jadi, kalau teman-teman mau pertama kali hobi menjahit, mau beli mesin jahit, jadi mesin ini rekomend buat dibeli. Tapi aku lebih nyaranin buat beli mesin jahit singer ini karena kualitas jahitannya lebih bagus menurut aku pribadi ya. Mungkin beberapa orang punya pendapat berbeda juga. Dan mesin jahit ini mempunyai harga yang hampir sama. Tapi kualitasnya menurut itu bagusan yang ini dengan harga yang sama kualitasnya bagusan yang ini. Dan mereka hampir sama sih ya jenis-jenis jahitannya. Dan kalau untuk teman-teman yang pemula jadi nggak perlu nggak perlu beli banyak uh, apa namanya uh, mesin jahit yang banyak macam-macam uh, macam-macam apa ini tipe jahitannya ya. Jadi cukup beli yang uh, biasa aja. Oke, aku kayaknya harus ngecek chat biar uh, kalau ada yang kasih pertanyaan. Jadi aku sebentar. Oke, okay. aku cek chat dulu ya. YouTube. Jadi sambil nunggu ini loading, aku aku jelasin lagi kalau untuk pemula, jadi lebih baik beli mesin jahit yang murah aja dan nggak perlu banyak tipe-tipe jahitannya karena ini sebenarnya percuma karena yang penting itu pertama kali bisa jahit lurus dan yang penting kalau misalnya teman-teman tetap ngeyal pengen beli yang macam-macam yang penting ada buat masang uh, resleting Jepang sama buat uh, masang ini uh, bikin lubang kancing ya sebentar Oke, okay, aku baca chatnya dulu ya. Too many. <laughs> Halo Mbak Mima, tipe uh, mesinnya yang buat ini sewing machine singer tradition jadi kalau mbak Mima mau beli yang e, biasa aja yang penting itu ada e, menu buat e, bikin lubang kancing sama menu buat bikin e, apa masang resleting resleting Jepang ya yang nggak kelihatan itu sebenarnya itu udah cukup dan sama bisa jahit lurus jadi nggak perlu beli yang apa ya yang banyak tipe-tipenya kalau beli second hand Uh, sebaiknya dicoba dulu karena second hand itu biasanya kan skrup skrupnya itu udah nggak uh, nggak apa ya nggak standar uh, apa sih fabric nggak <laughs> standar dari dari apa sih dari pabrik gitu ya jadi uh, dicoba dulu soalnya biasanya kalau udah second hand itu kalau misalnya yang make sebelumnya itu sistemnya ugal ugalan jadi dia biasanya nggak terlalu apa ya bagus lagi 
Tapi kalau dicoba masih bagus sih nggak apa-apa. Cuman kalau beli mesin jahit itu kan nggak mahal. Jadi harganya sekitar 100 dolar itu udah dapat. Kayak gini nih 100-an dolar udah dapat. Lagi ya. Too many. Um, terus apa lagi ya? Hmm, iya tadi kalau misalnya teman-teman mau beli yang mesin jahit yang singer ini dia masih klasik gitu ya um, ada ada uh, apa pakai rumah skoci kayak gini jadi rumah skoci ini riskan buat rusak dan sebenarnya bisa dikencengin kalau kayak gini kan kalau rusak bisa beli lagi tapi kalau yang ini rusak itu harus diganti ininya apa namanya harus dikencengin dari dari dalamnya jadi lebih ribet sebenarnya tapi lebih praktis ya terus terus sistem buat apa ya dari singer ini dia punya Uh, apa namanya tempat benangnya ini tidur jadi dia tiduran terus nanti ada penutupnya gitu oh, penutupnya hilang penutupnya hilang nah kalau pakai brother ini dia punya sistem yang diangkat ini sementara buat gulung benang sih hampir sama aja ya ini sama singer sama brother jadi nggak terlalu apa ya nggak terlalu ada keistimewaannya jadi hampir sama aja tapi kalau misalnya teman-teman mau beli beli aja yang singer harganya memang hampir sama aja kok cuman kualitas jahitannya di dua ini bagusan singer tapi mungkin tipe yang lain juga bakalan beda sih ya nah kalau uh, untuk uh, apa ini namanya apa namanya ini um, kalau untuk pressure foodnya apa sih sepatu jahitnya mereka hampir sama tapi aku belum coba aku punya um, sepatu jahit singer yang macam-macam tapi belum dicoba apakah dia bisa masuk ke brother atau enggak tapi sepertinya itu sama kaitannya kalau mesin jahit juki itu memang beda jadi kita coba dan mungkin aku bikin review nanti tentang uh, sepatu jahitnya. Nah bagusnya lagi uh, mesin apa nih namanya? Jadi kalau mesin jahit ini kan uh, tradingnya hampir sama ya, pasti ada trading guide-nya di sini ada nomor-nomornya jadi udah tinggal ikutin aja nih nomor-nomornya dan e, sebenarnya hampir semua mesin jahit itu sama ya asal udah masuk ke apa nih namanya e, apa sih jenenge e, apa sih yang yang naik turun itu ya ampun lupa semua pokoknya jadi jadi sistemnya tuh sama aja jadi tinggal diikutin aja dan aku udah bikin cara trading guide buat e, mesin jahit ini nanti bisa dicek di playlist di playlist yang tutorial cara menjahit dan di situ sudah ada aku bikin uh, bagaimana cara trading dan juga uh, review tentang mesin jahit ini. Oke okay, next. Um, kalau untuk bikin obras, obras nggak ada mesin yang bisa buat ngejahit sama ngobras bareng-bareng. Maksudnya uh, belum ada mesin seperti itu. Aku pernah lihat uh, apa sih kayaknya orang review kayak gitu, tapi ternyata itu bukan. Jadi aku belum pernah ngelihat yang namanya mesin jahit sama obras itu jadi satu. Jadi mendingan kalau misalnya beli mesin jahit ya udah mau nggak mau dua ya. Mungkin di Jepang juga nggak ada kan sistem servis obras itu. Kalau di Indonesia kan misalnya udah punya hobi jahit, tinggal beli mesin jahit aja di rumah, terus habis itu e, bisa ke tukang obras ngobrasin gitu. Paling kan nggak mahal, paling 10 ribuan udah ada di obras semua gitu. Cuman kalau di luar negeri biasanya mereka emang nggak punya sistem obras sih ya. Jadi mau nggak mau memang harus beli. Dan sekarang kita bikin review ini dalam bahasa Indonesia Jadi ini mesin jahit singer eh, Maksudku mesin obras singer Bisa dibilang overlock atau bisa dibilang apa ya 
satunya Serger. Jadi dua-duanya ini fortress, jadi ada empat gunung benang yang bisa dipasang di belakang. Kalau teman-teman pengen beli mesin obras yang biasa aja, jadi tiga benang yang tiga benang itu cuma khusus buat ngobras, buat pinggiran-pinggiran ngobras kain gitu. Tapi kalau punya empat benang kayak gini, jadi ini ada satu lagi ya sebenarnya tempatnya kita praktekkan. Mana ya satu lagi? Darah ambil temennya sini. Jadi ini misalnya ada gini satu dua tiga empat. Ini bisa buat uh, ngobras atau bisa ngebuat ngejahit pinggiran, uh, bisa ngejahit hem kain mana ya? Hem kain. Hmm. Contohnya ini. Wih, copot. Contohnya ini. Kalau kain kaos buat ngejahit bagian sini harus memakai mesin jahit yang empat benang harus itu. Kalau maksa juga itu namanya ya sudah apa adanya. Tapi biasanya kalau tetap maksa pengen pakai mesin jahit biasa, itu tipsnya itu agak dikendorin yang benang atas sama benang bawah. Tapi memang hasilnya nggak sebagus dengan ini ya karena mesin ini dikhususkan buat ngejahit kain kaos. Jadi um, yang namanya e, maksa itu kan nggak bagus ya hasilnya juga nggak bagus kadang dia nggak nggak melar karena mesin ini di, bisa dipakai buat e, jersey atau kain-kain yang stretch bisa stretch kayak gini jadi ketika dia sistem jahitannya macam zigzag ini dia bisa stretch kadang ada yang bilang kalau mesin jahit biasa yang ada zigzag jahitan itu bisa dipakai buat kalau ya bisa aja apa aja sih bisa kalau dipaksakan tapi hasilnya memang enggak uh, enggak sebagus enggak sebagus yang mesin untuk peruntukannya yang seperti ini jadi kalau mau ngejahit kaos ya sebenarnya aku mau ngomong harus punya ini sih kayaknya harusin orang punya sih enggak ya cuman rekomend buat memakai mesin ini dan empat benang dipakai semua jadi kalau atas empat benang yang bagian jarumnya ini juga pakai uh, dua benang jadi yang dua dua uh, benang masuk ke bawah jadi uh, lower thread yang dua benang ini masuk ke atas jadi upper thread dan untuk untuk yang bagian sininya kan uh, tadi udah aku jelasin bahasa Inggris nanti aku jelasin bahasa Indonesia dan ini uh, buat perbandingan aja kalau yang mesin jahit ini sama ini menurutku uh, pendapat opini ya uh, hasilnya bagusan yang ini lebih halusan yang ini kalau ini tuh agak kasar tapi kalau untuk settingannya sih hampir sama aja tapi di sini lebih bagusnya dia punya cover buat uh, apa ya uh, cover buat dia nutup si pisaunya jadi nggak kepotong kan kalau misalnya mesin obras itu ketika dia menjahit pinggiran ketika kita masukin ini ke pinggir gini dia bakalan kepotong cicik cicik gitu di sini ada pisaunya dan mesin ini punya uh, penutup pisau jadi penutup pisaunya itu kalau kita klikin gitu dia bakalan jalan tapi nggak motong dan itu biasanya bisa juga mesin ini digunakan buat bikin hem kayak gini tapi hasilnya memang nggak sebagus pakai cover stitch dan uh, apa ya uh, hasilnya beda yang di atas nih kayak zigzag gitu loh uh, jadi dua-duanya punya punya kayak zigzag ini kalau ini kan uh, atasnya kan nih apa rapi kayak gini kan kalau yang ini enggak dan e, lagi kalau ini kan setelannya di sebelah kiri kalau ini setelannya di sebelah kanan tapi selebihnya hampir sama dengan harganya juga hampir sama jadi karena aku udah ya singer holic jadi Oke, ada Mbak Mima. Makasih udah nonton. Besok bisa ngecat deh kalau mau rekomendasi mesin jahit atau mau nanya-nanya. 
biar suka ngejahit juga kan daripada nganggur kan bikin bajunya si cantik bisa gitu oke okay? terus selanjutnya dadah terus selanjutnya um, apa ya udah ini udah obras hmm. kita masukin aja ke sini Oke, okay, selanjutnya ini. Nah, teman-teman, aku sebenarnya mau ngebahas ini tapi sebenarnya agak malu juga karena ini belinya karena salah order. Jadi, beli mesin jahit, beli mesin obras. Ini aku pikir mesin obras, jadi ordernya dari Swedia, jauh-jauh kan? Karena harganya menurutku di sana lebih murah. Aku pikir karena kelihatannya memang memang seperti mesin obras, tapi ternyata ini bukan mesin obras. Dan pas ini apa namanya um, apa sih uh, pas aku order ini aku pikir ini pokoknya mesin obras gitu gila nyampe rumah kok beda gini terus pas browsing browsing apa sih cover stitch mesin ternyata ini adalah mesin buat uh, mesin buat pinggiran kayak gini buat hemming kaos. Jadi kalau teman-teman suka dengan ngejahit kaos-kaos atau bahan-bahan yang ber, bermelar-melar kayak gini harus punya mesin ini. Kalau nggak mau sih ya bisa pakai mesin jahit biasa tapi agak dikendorin gitu benangnya atas bawah biar jahitannya bisa melar. Kan biasanya kalau nggak dikendorin kan dia um, apa ya mesinnya itu uh, gimana ya? Kalau nggak dikendorin, dianya diginikan itu nggak bisa melar. Jadi memang bukan mesin jahit biasa itu peruntukannya bukan untuk bukan untuk kain yang uh, melar kayak gini. Nah, uh, ini penampakannya hampir sama dengan mesin obras. Jadi di belakang sini dia ada empat thread juga di sini. Ada juga yang lima thread sih katanya. Terus um, kalau kita putar ke depan gini. Dia hampir mirip gitu loh. Ini ada threadingnya dikasih warna buat threading guide di bawah ya. Apa sih threading guide? E, cara memasukkan benang. Jadi cara memasukkan yang benang ada di bawah di tutupnya. Aku masukin sini. Ini ada warna-warnanya. Dan ini harganya menurutku sangat mahal dibandingkan dengan mesin-mesinku yang lain. Jadi harganya sekitar 500 euro waktu itu kita order dari Swedia. 500 euro itu sekitar 7 juta 500 ya kalau di rupiah lebih lah 8 jutaan ya kalau sekarang tapi kayaknya harganya memang udah turun sih jadi 499 jadi turun 1 euro pas aku lihat kemarin dan um, kemarin agak-agak nyesel cuman ya mau gimana lagi udah dibeli kan dan bisa dipakai buat bikin baju-baju winter kayak misalnya bikin kaos atau baju-baju jaket atau kayak gitu dan overall ya bagus sih jadi kan e, kalau kita punya proyek-proyek yang buat anak-anak atau buat anak cowok terutama kan bisa bisa dipakai buat apa sih bawahnya gitu. Oke. Okay. Hmm. Aku taruh sini dulu. Uh. Di sini. Jadi ini semua lima mesin portable. Kau dan juga ini. Aku nggak kelihatan. Oke ke sini. Oke okay, teman-teman. Jadi ini kelima mesin jahitku. Senang sih punya banyak koleksi. Tapi kayaknya suamiku nggak senang terlalu banyak. Dia juga udah komen katanya terlalu banyak. Tapi kesenangan itu nggak bisa dibelikan. Sama aja seperti dia yang beli macam-macam juga. Ha? Nah, biarin aja dia nonton Oke teman-teman uh, Sampai ketemu lagi di video berikutnya Kalau misalnya ada ditanyakan komen aja Kan bisa uh, Ini bakalan aku upload Kalau misalnya kualitas videonya kurang bagus Jadi aku upload video dari Yang kamera Dan mungkin aku bikin uh, tutorialnya ya Bagaimana cara makainya ini Review dan sebagainya Lebih detail di uh, Di video 
yang sebenarnya jadi bukan live streaming dan uh, masing-masing bakalan aku bahas juga dan yang kemarin yang sudah pernah nonton uh, videoku tentang mesin jahit yang mesin jahit ini yang mesin jahit ini udah pernah aku bahas di salah satu videoku dan ini bakalan aku susul dengan review dan cara trading dan lain-lainnya nanti dan kalau ada waktu bakal semuanya aku bahas oke okay? Okay, bye guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Maybe no one watching now, but usually it will come later. Okay, bye bye. And thanks for my husband, which is, has been taking care, of, which is now is taking care of my kids out of the house, and he's also watching my video maybe. And then bye. <clears throat> So, I just let you enjoying my chewing machine here. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching.